I'm always fine. I always feel upbeat and just fine. And then for some reason today, I'm just so mad about it. Good morning, you guys. It is the first day of progesterone which means I will start these injections twice a day so it is early in the morning and I just have to start and get this done um, I talked to them and they said ideally if you can give them 12 hours apart that's like ideal so the medication can stay in your system like consistently but look it's a 3 cc syringe instead of a 1 yeah let's not think about it and let's just do it okay go on the motorcycle? No, it's Callie's turn. My turn, it's my turn. Kinsley, give Mama a hug. Give me a hug. Be gentle. Thank you. That's so sweet. I just don't want to do it. Oh God, this is, um, this is a tough one for us. Needles are scary. And this, this whole process is overwhelming. And God, we just, uh, we lift up this, um, this shot to you today. Uh, all of them, Father, the rest of the medication to you. We just ask, Lord, that you would allow it to take place, make it work, implant, God, and that this um, would become a child. Jesus, we, we ask that there would be no fear of it not working. There'd be no fear of the pain of needles, that there'd be no fear. You'd just wipe it clean, Lord. God, we lift up everyone that's going through IVF right now. Um, everyone that's going to go through IVF. Everyone that's going to go through this process, Lord, that just seems so frustrating. But we know, God, that you have a plan for us and you have a plan for everyone. And um, help us through this today as you help everyone else. In your name, amen. I'm going to go right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna breathe out this time. I'll sing tonight. You did awesome. The needle really didn't hurt at all because you're pinching so well. You did a really great job. How long does it take to inject though? Because there's so much fluid. Ow. Not you pinching, it's the fluid. I know. And I'm out. Okay. Oh. I do this every time. And there's blood. Um. There's a lot of blood. Oh boy. Um. You okay? Just go get paper towel, it's fine. Oh boy. <laughs> Does it hurt? No, I just don't want to do this. I hate this. This is so frustrating. And then people just go whoops and I'm pregnant. And then it's just so much work and discomfort and just. I'm so sorry we have to go through this, hon. I'm just mad. You're mad? I'm mad. What are you most mad about? I'm mad that we have to do it like this. I just wanted to be, like, have the big family where you just, like, naturally have kids. And we can't. It's just frustrating. I guess just um, encouragement of the day. If you can or have naturally conceived, just remember that that's a blessing and a privilege. You look like you were just in war. This is the site that we put the needle. Why don't you just lay here? Do you want a book? Do you want to take a nap? 
tired. Tired? I don't ever feel... I never feel upset. I never feel emotions about it. I never feel, like, discouraged or mad or anything. I'm always fine. I always feel upbeat and just fine. And then for some reason today I'm just so mad about it. <laughs> Plus I don't have estrogen normally so I probably never cry. <laughs> <laughs> you never cry. I never cry. Probably because I don't have the hormones to cry. Now I know why. Maybe now I know why I'm so tough and not. <laughs> I was the only one that cried at our wedding. I want you guys to know that. I'm not emotional. And I have more estrogen than most women. <laughs> now I'm like, it's all coming out for the last like 20 years. You've got a lot to grieve. This has been a really long journey, sweetie. You're okay to grieve this. You're okay to be mad. It's okay to be frustrated. And I feel bad because I feel like everyone always gets upset and they're mad that they have to go through this journey. And I'm like, you're okay. It's fine. Like, it's fine. Like, don't be upset. It's okay. It's just what it is. Like, I'm always so just... Which is not empathetic, which is not super great, but... I mean... I don't know. It just all hit me. I think this amount of empathy, I think this amount of frustration yeah. and sadness is actually going to be good for you. Yeah. It's going to allow you to, to be there for all these people. Alex, you're amazing and you're wonderful. You're doing a great job. You're handling a lot right now. I'm proud of you. Like my normal emotions, I'm like, it just is what it is. Just go and just do it and then it's over and it's fine. Like I'm not like thinking about it. I try not to focus on, like, those are our, like, babies that, like, like the, I don't know if we've ever conceived, like, I don't know if, like, my egg and your sperm has ever met until our embryos, and so I can't think of it as, like, the babies that I want so bad because then it's too stressful and just focus on, like, you know, just the procedure part. Like, it's very the nursing mindset. It's, like... You know, just, you know, just the motions. Like, don't think about it too much because then you get, like, then you can't handle the situation. I don't know why I'm crying. I do. You have emotions, finally. <laughs> After 29 years, you feel things. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Hi, it's Alex Congelier. Hi, Alex, how are you? Hi, good. Probably still waiting for a protocol. Yeah, I don't have one yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So today I've been hanging out on the couch. I'm not even sorry. <laughs> um, just been a low-key day. The kids hang out this morning. We watched a couple vlogs. And now I'm just doing some editing on the computer just so I feel like I'm doing something. But I'm just taking a low-key day because every three seconds I'm about to cry <laughs> for no reason other than hormones. And Philip made me some food because I want to eat when I'm sad. <laughs> she loves eating when she's sad. Also, she loves eating when she's happy. I love eating. I always love eating. So not, that does not change. I feel like I need to be out and about because like next week is three days of bed rest and I'm going to not want to be sitting still. But for right now, I'm just, uh, 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 I'm just sitting still. I don't know what to say. Leave a comment down below and just encourage Alex and tell her she's the absolute best. Because I think she is as well. And encourage someone else in the comments that they're the best too. Yeah. That's a great encouragement of the day. Yeah. Encourage someone else. Um, we are very aware um, that there are a lot of you guys that are going through IVF right now. Or maybe are pregnant because of IVF. Or maybe miscarried because of IVF. Or maybe, maybe just waiting for something. Maybe you're just waiting for something. Um, we totally like we're putting our lives out there and we're so grateful that we have this platform and opportunity to do that because we want to be an encouragement to you guys um we've shown you guys so many highs and we're such optimistic people that like everything is always like here and for me everything's like here because i'm just you know i i get that way and i get really loud and energetic i would say that these are difficult moments like we're 
excited and we want to be really excited like we really 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 want to be like jumping for joy thinking wow we have this opportunity for IVF but there's always that risk and I think that there's that like those emotions of well what if this doesn't work like what if it doesn't take what if there is a miscarriage and we're honestly right now we're holding on to hope we're holding on to this thought that it's gonna work and if it doesn't we're we're gonna be really sad and it's gonna be a huge bummer but at the same time like because we have six embryos we have a couple tries at this but I think there's just a lot of nerves but there's a lot of anticipation and there's just like this moment of okay let's just take it easy right now let's just enjoy these moments let's just enjoy the day let the emotions be what it may because this is the process and we've said from the very beginning we will not go around the process we will go through the pain we will go through the process because that is what makes us stronger and that is what will make you stronger is not avoiding all of this mm -hmm. uh, but going through it and so that's where we're at we're so excited but we're like reserved excitement well and Philip's been super great in the sense where he told me just hang out and relax like just take a load off like I'm gonna work today, you don't work today, just like relax. And I think that was really sweet of him and really helpful for me. I don't necessarily take something like that, like take a day like that unless I'm kind of given permission. Like I feel like, not that I need permission to have a day off, like if I'm tired and like I don't feel well, like I'll, I will relax during the day. But I think it was an encouragement that, you know, this is a big deal, this is a big process. So let's like make the best that we can and like make sure that I'm. Yeah, I want Alex, I, I told Alex today, like I want you to relax. Like I want you to get your body and mind and heart and spirit ready for this. I want Alex to just relax, um, to think about the positive parts of it, but to just kind of get her mind off of it so that her body is just stress-free and ready to accept our wonderful, beautiful little embryo child. So I haven't seen Alex this sad in a long time. It's actually, Okay, don't take this the wrong way. It's, it's actually really refreshing. No, it's actually for me, really it, it sweet. It feels refreshing like you know like when everything's all pent up and then you have like a good cry. And I love seeing her um, let her emotions take place because I think emotions can be healing sometimes. Let me get back to my show. She's gonna keep watching vlogs. Okay. Well I just woke up from a couple hour nap. How long was I sleeping? Like an hour? Oh at least an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half. <coughs> Guys, I am like crashing and burning today. And again, we are just filming this entire experience because A, we want to remember, and B, to share maybe what someone else could be experiencing. I am so tired, like painfully tired, like contacts in, passed out on the couch, this is hard a little bit and a little emotional and a little tired and I'm sorry today is just a whole bunch of tears and fatigue, but I just wanna be honest that that's where we are today. Maybe we'll go run out and grab dinner or Philip's actually really, really, really good at cooking so maybe he will make something depending if he wants to or not. Okay, you guys, two more. One progesterone and one estrogen. Estrogen dose is starting to go down just a little bit starting today as we ramp up on the progesterone. So, yep, that's how I'm feeling. I wish I could do all of these for you. Tell me, princess, now when did you last put your heart aside? I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder. Over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride A whole new world New fantastic point of view mm. What was that? It's fine A dazzling place I never knew But when I'm way up here Crystal clear, and now I'm in a whole new world. Now I'm in a whole new world. <laughs> Unbelievable sight, indescribable feeling, soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless diamond. 
something. Okay. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Go let your love multiply. Bye.